today I am playing Dreamscape Abyss. So let's see. The main menu looks very cool. Simplistic, but it's nice to look at. Kinda looks reminiscent to someone falling down a pit, which never ends, that sort of thing. As a settings menu. So that's nice. I will say it's a bit strange. You have to press E to select the menu options, and you have to use the arrow keys. So no mouse or pressing spacebar to enter or anything. So yeah, let's get into it. Sorry, <laughs> I press enter by mistake again. Okay. Okay, so four directional sprite with um, a bedhead main character. Neat. We can look at this. Oh shoot, we got a gun. Hell yeah, we must be American. <laughs> Wait, can I use my mouse, or...? What is this? Escape. 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 Okay, so what do I... Okay, so I guess I'm just looking at my... And this looks like a toy gun. This might be an airsoft rifle, or something. Also, who keeps their socks... Like, individually, side by side? And maybe it's just me, but I always fold them together. Anyway. Also... Oh wait, is that a, um... A photograph that's... Uh, front side down. Odd. Okay, so I escaped. Wait, what? This person has a one-room apartment? <laughs> that's kind of awful. Or no, it looks like a cell. Yeah, that's like a cell window. Odd. And they got some books. Okay, monsters and fairy tales. We got a knife. The fridge hasn't worked in a long time. At least I'm assuming that's a fridge. Honestly, it almost looks like a cabinet. <laughs> just because it... Yeah. Oh, so wow, the... Pers the drawing on that is kind of rough. Like... Look how it, like, bulges and then kind of, like, tucks in. And then it, like, ekes out. <laughs> yeah, the perspective is all sorts of messed up. And it's not... Well... Yeah, and it's just kind of strange. Oh, so by the way, this is the first time I've ever seen a woman stand as tall as a refrigerator. <laughs> um, of course, not like it's supposed to be realistic or anything. Yep, I know that feeling. Dull knives. Huh? I slept and then... Oh, I guess I had to end the day to um, exit. Fair enough. Okay, that's cool. All this stuff has new dialogue after sleeping. Oh, wait, that must mean it's a dream because earlier it said that this thing hasn't worked in ages or whatever. Yes, I think so. I don't know. Maybe it's just new dialogue. Yeah, that looks the same to me, though. Also, if you're going to be using um, E, E, E to interact with stuff, you may as well have E, B to exit if there's nothing to interact with. Um, yeah, let's go out. Hello, world. Okay, I'm in the abyss. Well, that was quick. Nice sound effects. Very nice. Really makes you feel like you're in an abyss. Infinity symbol. Okay. First thought that comes to mind, this must be a You Mean Nikki-like. At least I think that's the genre definer thing where you're in a dream and you walk through a bunch of strange areas to get to the end or whatever um yeah this area looks pretty neat we got floating islands oh kind of looks like a floating hockey puck but okay can't run it seems like oh no switch puzzle horrifying uh hello there kappa 
Yeah, it's a kappa. Yeah, this character is pretty darn slow. It'd be nice if they could move just a little bit faster or to have a run. Hello, Mr. Kappa. How are you doing? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just gonna go through each area once, and then something special will happen. Um, I will say, artistically speaking, I like how um, the real world is super messed up looking. That's an interesting backdrop to exploring these more magical realms. can't seem to interact with him. Uh, that's scary. Why do I hear footsteps? <laughs> I'm not walking. Hopefully that's just a bug and not a creepy dude following me. A U-boat. Okay then. Oh, wait a minute. Am I ending the dream early? Oh yeah, it's definitely a bug. The footsteps are, just, are still going. Well, I guess I'm ending the dream early, so... Yeah, because nothing's changing. Yeah, I guess I should go back to the other dream then. Um, well, I suppose I should maybe reset, because this extra footstep's starting to get annoying. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this is a cool pause menu. Okay, let's go to circle with lines through it land. Okay, so it's a sewer, looks like. Oh no, it's a sewer and a maze. Horrifying. What's that, an item? Oh sweet, we got a lantern. I'm assuming we want to avoid the rats. Oh, there's uh, creepy eyes in the walls. Okay. And it looks like it gets dark eventually when you go into the corners of the sewers. Seems like a fine enough mechanic to me. Okay, there's a switch here, which opened up the gate. I'm sure, let's follow the creepy arrow. What could possibly go wrong? Oh no, it's a dead end. Ah. Okay, well that's fine. I thought something creepy would happen. Like a little spook scare. So, is this area trying to be a... Go in the opposite of what the arrows are telling you? So maybe I want to go up here? Nope. Hey, Mr. Rat, could you please turn around? Oh. Okay. Suppose that's not gonna happen. Uh, sure, let's go through the water. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's a wall. Well, guess that won't work out then. 
Okay. And this just goes in a circle. Okay, well, I guess I'll go through that um, ladder I saw earlier. Um, I suppose it does make a lot of sense. I'm, a, I'm assuming this is some sort of symbolism for feeling trapped or whatever. It makes sense that all the supposed shortcuts I'm unlocking actually do nothing and just go in circles. But nothing's changing, so I, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Okay, I did do it. Cool. Okay, let's go with what looks like a swing set. Oh, this is completely different. Hello there. Okay, we have a switch. Hello, demon. I'm the red dead. Okay, so these are time switches. Good to know. Oh, hello there. How are you doing? Okay, I can't talk to the weird um, hook-shaped fish thing. Okay, so this is a th that's a thing. Okay, here's the swing set. Unless this a dollhouse? Yeah. Honestly, this is a, just a little creepy. <laughs> you know, it has um, a very harsh pixelated um, gradient. That's kind of reminiscent of spray paint. Then it has the black marker um, trees and stuff. And of course the weird red flesh people <laughs> so it's all very interesting what maybe i need an item for this i'm not really sure how oh that's creepy um should i be concerned uh Okay, so there was an earthquake that then stopped the music. So that was kind of unsettling. Oh, there's an item. Or is it not? Can I please have it? Actually, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to walk in here. Because that's... Yeah, I think that might be a bug. Oh, where on earth is this um, thing I need? Maybe something shows up at the dock during an earthquake? No? Yeah, this is um, decently atmospheric, but I must say, the slow walk speed is just killing me. Hopefully I'll find whatever I need um, where that um, other gate leads to. There's a bug dude walking around. Oh, I got running shoes. Cool. Or at least I think I do. Oh, okay, you can choose items. Yes, thank goodness, I can finally move at a, at a reasonable pace. Feels good. Uh, 
Okay, so what's the first thing I want to do? Um, right, right. So I need to go to that one place which has the other thing. <laughs> Talk about being vague. Okay, I need to go to the other switch so I can run across and get into the ring. Yeah, this one. Sweet. Still the same stuff. Okay. Back to Infinity Land. Huh, so it looks like it kind of loops strangely. I'm pretty sure I went a different way, but ended up at the same spot. As I uh, did the first time I got here. There's a purple sea. I probably need a certain spell for this. Yeah, I think I need to go to another world to get the ability to go through purple. Oh yeah, and then there's also those purple gates in um, the sewer level, so I need to go back to that as well. Yep, and then we're back here again. Okay, so I guess I need to um, come back here once I have the purple, because I think interacting with the kappa just wakes me up. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I don't think I interacted with this bottom switch yet. Maybe that opens the way? No. Maybe this is the way? You lock every door, and then the way clears, so now I wake up. Oh, cool. That's a really cool animation. I don't know why you don't show that every time you wake up. Well, I can, I can understand. It'd probably get a little um, less interesting if you showed it all the time. But anyway. Um, yeah, let's go back to sleep and see if that unlocked a hidden passage. Or not so hidden, but, you know, unlocked the way forward. No. Did I accidentally softlock myself? Uh-oh. <laughs> I really hope that it wasn't important. Oopsie daisy. Well, time to do that snow level, I guess. Yeah, I like that. It's very cute. Okay, back to sleep. That's a pretty big ship. Oh, cool house. Hey, you guys alive in there? Well, if they are, they aren't letting us in. Oh, finally. Oh, we got a gun. Hell yeah. Now we can shoot that target and get inside. Oh, so I like that, um, sprite. It's kind of cute. Also, I find it funny. This actually gets eight directionals. You know, compared to the regular movement. Yep, it looks... Well, it's not exactly like our house. Huh? This is just for fun? It looks like there's nothing we can do.
Um, okay, I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh yeah, I suppose with the gun we can kill the rats in the sewer, so now they won't be a problem. Oh, we completed it. Uh-oh, that's concerning. <laughs> um, that's really concerning. I think I may have softlocked myself because I made the all the doors close in on themselves. Yeah, this isn't looking good. <laughs> I think it's uh, over for the stream. But I don't know, I think that's a pretty cool solution I came up with. The idea that, that you actually have to lock every option away to then open up the final path. But yeah, looks like I screwed myself. Hey, can I still shoot the kappa? Doesn't seem like it. Man, can I shoot myself? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> that's kind of disappointing. I don't think there's anything I can do to reset this area. Yeah, I like this. It has some... Oh, I suppose I've never played Yumi Niki. I've only heard of it. But at least as far as this game goes, it's pretty entertaining for what it is. A semi-walking simulator, but with some neat visuals and a little bit of gameplay. So, uh, yeah. I like it. Hope you can work on it some more.